Hey guys, it's Rob. I just wanted to do a video on how to set up your flight controller if you decide to try this reverse motor rotation. And uh, what you'll need is a custom mix and there is another way of doing it which was suggested on my YouTube channel which I'll discuss also. But uh, just remember this is only half of the story and doing this alone will not make your quad flyable. You must also reverse the motor rotations. You can do that by either reversing the wires on the motors or just by um, changing it in the uh, the firmware of the SC's BL Heli Suite or Simon K and I'll show you how to do that in the second part of this video. I've just got a little Naze flight controller and uh, it's set up with um, the latest version of Clean Flight, just the stable version. So what we'll do is just go to CLI and I'm going to type dump and hit enter. Now if we scroll back up what you're going to see is the current mixer is Quad X, which is just here. Okay, now that uh, is the default Quad X mix. So what we need to do is put in the custom mix, which will tell the flight controller that the motors are in fact spinning in the opposite direction, and therefore it will give the uh, the correct commands to the motors when you when you apply your input. Just to make things a bit easier, I've just um, prepared the custom mix text in a like a Word document. And what you need to know is that earlier versions of Clean Flight 1.9 and earlier and Base Flight use a C mix syntax, whereas the later versions, including Beta Flight, uses an M mix. So uh, you must use the right mix syntax for the uh, the version of uh, firmware you're using in the flight controller. For ours, we'll use this one. So all I'm going to do is just copy the entire text. We'll copy that. Now what we need to do is go back to the CLI there and down in the bottom corner here what I need to do is just paste. I'll paste that and then hit enter. And you'll see the mix has gone in. Now it's going to take you back to the main screen there and one thing you're going to notice is that the image has changed because it's now using a custom mix so it's no longer displaying the standard quad X so when you see that that's uh, that's a good sign if we go back to the CLI and do another dump then we can scroll back up and you'll now see that the custom mix is in there it's in the actual uh, dump configuration Okay, so that's basically all you need from uh, from the flight controller point of view. As I said, we need to also flash the ESCs. But what I'll do is I'll just reset that back to default. And, okay, reset settings. Okay, so we're now back to the standard Quad X. Now, the other method of doing that without needing a full custom mix is this one here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that down the bottom it's just to use this parameter set your motor direction to minus one so we'll copy that copy and if we go back into clean flight go to the dump and it's about halfway through I believe let me just try and find it Okay, there it is. Set your motor direction equals one. So at the moment it's one. What we're going to do is just write a command that sets it to minus one and hit enter. And then we're going to save. Okay, what I would do is just come back to CLI, type another dump and make sure that that parameter has in fact changed. And there it is. Set your motor direction equals minus one. So it has actually taken in the flight controller. So either of those two methods, either doing it that way or with the custom mix, are going to work. And I'll just pause the video there and uh, switch to um, how you change the motor directions with the ESC firmware. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to reverse the motor rotation direction if you're using ESCs with Simon K. To do that you're going to need this Google Chrome app called Rapid Flash. So let me just open that 
Now I've prepared uh, by setting up an Afro ESC connected to the computer via an Afro linker and you'll see the uh, parameter up here Afro USB linker, latest Simon K firmware and the firmware I want for this ESC is afro.nfet Okay, now what you'll need to do is just check that the parameters are what you want and what I generally do is set comp PWM I don't use motor brake and uh, motor timing, it's entirely up to you there 18 is the default setting so we'll just leave it there for the purpose of this demonstration but the parameter you want to reverse the motor rotation is this one motor reverse just up here once you've done that come down to the bottom right and flash the firmware you'll see it's flashing up here Once it's verified, you can disconnect. Now you'll need to do that to all four ESCs. If you've got a, a quadcopter that's flying well at the moment with uh, standard rotation, um, doing that to each ESC will reverse the rotation. So that's really all that's necessary. Okay, I'll show you the same thing uh, with BL Heli next. So the last part of this video is how to reverse the motor rotations if you're using uh, BL Heli Suite. And I've just got a brand new little B 20 amp ESC, literally just taken out of the packet now for this video. Uh, let's just connect to BL Heli Suite, and I'm using a little Arduino Nano. So uh, that's all good. Select option D there. COM4 is the right port for this device, and we'll connect. Now, what I need to do is read the setup, and uh, okay, I can see that it's only got version 14.1 at the moment. So before I use those obviously I would update to the latest BL Heli version but just for the purpose of this demonstration the only thing you need to change is this parameter here number one where it says motor direction normal just put it to reversed and then write setup and that's all there is to it and once again you do that to all four ESCs. If your quadcopter is running nicely now with uh, conventional rotation just reverse the direction on all four ESCs and that should do it thanks for watching